Hey folks, I hope you're doing well today. Today we're gonna to be making a non-objective artwork. Non-objective means that there are no realistic images in the artwork. We're only gonna be using lines, shapes, and colors to create an artwork that is interesting to the audience. In order to accomplish this, we're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil. Other things that you can use also would be a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can use an object that has a straight edge to it or just freehand the lines. Uh, you can also use objects that you find around the house to trace geometric shapes like this square here. But again, if you don't have any of those objects, you can just freehand the shapes as well. You're also going to need some colors. They can be crayons, they can be color pencils, they could be markers. Uh, if you don't have any of those items, you can color it in pencil also, and it would just be a black and white image, which can look just as cool. So once you have those items ready, we can get started. Step one, we are going to add three to five large shapes that are not touching. There's one. There's two. Here's three. We'll make three go off the paper. Uh, number four, we're going to add another big one. Looks like there's a lot of space right here. So it needs a circle. And five. How about another one that goes off the edge? Next, we have to add three to five lines that divide the shapes into pieces. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, Next, we're gonna color all the shapes. Try to stay in the lines and color neatly. We're going to use the colors to put these shapes back together again. So if you're using pencils instead of colors, try to make sure that the shapes are similar and the background is different. So maybe you can color the shapes dark shades of gray and the background light shades of gray. And here's our finished artwork. You can see that the difference in colors makes the circle stand out even though they're still in pieces. That color difference is the contrast that makes this drawing successful. Our brain can see that the circles are all reddish colors while the background is different shades of blue. I hope you had fun. If you want to try a challenge, check out some of the other videos and I'll see you next time.